Hey everybody, this is Ray Ogilvie from Hartsville, South Carolina, and today I'm on the Great Petey River, just outside of Pamplico, South Carolina. Have you ever watched videos of people finding fossils and wished you could find them yourself? Well, today I'm going to share some ideas with you that might help you do that. In order to find fossils, the first thing you need to know is where to look for them. Fossils only occur in sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is the rock that forms from the sediments in the bottoms of rivers, swamps, and oceans. Since these bodies of water have always been very common, Sedimentary rock is also very common. This means there are probably fossils close to where you are right now. The trick is finding a place where sedimentary rock is exposed. Sedimentary rock is exposed in two ways. Naturally, by erosion, like we're seeing here on the river. And by man, in processes like dredging or mining. Now, in order to keep this video a reasonable length, we'll just look at a natural exposure today. So how do you find one of these natural exposures? Well, if you're like me and just love to explore, you could just grab a map and go up and down the river. That's how I found this place. If you want to narrow your search down a little, you could look for clues on the map. Now, I've drawn a rough map here for demonstrational purposes. If you're looking at a map of a river, you'll notice that the river usually just flows along steadily, curving just a little from side to side every now and then. But if you're looking at a map of a river and notice it suddenly taking a sharp turn and then flowing straight for a while, chances are it's hit something hard. This would be an excellent place to look for a rock outcropping. If your map happens to be a topo map, it will have these lines of elevation. When these lines are far apart, the elevation is changing gradually. But where they come together, the elevation is changing drastically. This means there's probably a ledge right here. This is another good place to look. Exploring like this can be a lot of fun, but it can take a lot of time. If you're ready to find something now, there is a faster way. Just go to a library or go online and do some research on fossils in your area. I went online and did a search for fossil localities in South Carolina. And this was one of the many places that came up. Evidently, I wasn't the first person to find it. Besides listing fossil locations, the Internet will also list fossil clubs and forums that you can interact with. These sites can be very useful in helping you find other fossil sites. You could be finding fossils before the day's over. I 
I don't know about you, but I'm ready to take a closer look at some of the fossils at this site. Now here's an interesting looking fossil right here. This is a belemnite. This is the fossilized internal shell of a squid-like animal. In modern squid, this internal shell has been reduced to the size of a pin. Now here's a rough sketch of a belemnite. This internal shell would have been back here on the very back end. Here's another neat fossil. This is an exagyra, also called a ram's horn oyster. As you can see, the shell is twisted, kind of like a ram's horn. And here's a little shark tooth. This is a squally corax culpi, also known as a crow shark. You have to look really hard for these because they're very small and dark. If you look closely at this one, you'll notice it has some very fine serrations around the edges. All three of these animals went extinct 65 million years ago. Okay folks, just one more thing before we leave. Let's take just a moment and talk about safety. This bank is steep. There's a lot of places you could slip and fall. Also, all these rocks you see at the bottom of the bank used to be up there at the top of the bank. You'll want to look for loose rocks when you come to a place like this. Also, you'll always want to practice water safety. And any rocky, weedy place like this along the river is a good place for snakes. This probably isn't the best place to bring children. There are other fossil sites along the river where the bank's not this steep and the water deepens more gradually. Those type of sites would be better suited for family excursion. I hope you found this information useful. And if you do get out and do some hunting, I hope you find something fantastic.